Uh oh. Can you hear me now? How's it now? Can you hear me now? Can you see me and can you hear me? I turned it on. Yep. Looks like it. Yep. Neither. <laughs> How do I pronounce that? Janet, good morning. Leslie, good morning. How's everyone doing? Can you hear me? I can't hear. Got it now. Maybe. Randall, what's going on, buddy? Hope you're doing well, man. How's how's the health? How's your body? Good to see your name, man. Paula, how you doing? Therese. Hello, hello. Happy. Is it is it a holiday where y'all are at? Around the world. Who's got a holiday? Who's, ha who's family day or George Washington day? Pat, good morning. All right. So today we are, we're going to have a special mastermind today. I hope everyone is ready to get to work. Happy President's Day. All right. Entrepreneurs working on the holidays. Yes. That's what we do, right? All right. There's no holidays for us. We got goals. We got dreams. Every day is just a day. Um, excuse, excuse my haircut. This lady I got a haircut from. I'm totally messed up. It looks all. I am on a webinar. All right. So today we're talking about how to. You want to see? I mean, Amanda and I just got a puppy. Say hello to Brody. Say hello to Brody. Okay. Um. So, hope everyone's doing well. Um. Today we're gonna get into how to book interviews okay brody you're cute um it's a samoid for anyone who might be asking um or a samid that's how you pronounce it samid we're gonna talk about how to book interviews today okay and we're gonna do some so i am i'm gonna keep my webcam on everyone's gonna keep their their um you know, we're going to keep this whole web thing going, but we are going to get on the phone, okay? We're going to get on email. We're going to get on social media, and we are all going to book interviews, okay? And we're going to set a goal, okay? And I am going to send, okay, I'm going to send a gift card, okay, to Coffee Shop, for whoever wins this challenge today so that you can take some more people out for coffee in your community. Okay, it's going to be a fun challenge, all right, to see who can book, who can book the most interviews in, okay, a period, period of time, all right? So let me go over how to book interviews, okay? There's lots of training in the online training course. Who here has logged on to the online training course? Um, and if you have not, if you have not logged on to the online training course, say I have not logged on yet. Good morning, Lisa. Okay. Um, because there's lots of training in. Okay. I also want to show you. Um, I'm going to share my screen. Okay. 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 So who, where is the course? Okay, who here has not logged on to this course? Robin, okay. So in anyone who has not logged on to the online course, okay, email support at parkbench.com, okay, to get your login. Okay, when you log in, there's going to be lots more training about how to execute the local leader system. There's advanced training, there's basic training, and it goes into how to book the interviews. And when you click on these, okay, there's scripts and there's templates and there's videos. Okay, um, all in here about how to book an interview. Okay, I'm going to copy and paste this essential script right now. Okay, because we're going to use this today. All right, we are going to have a contest. We're going to have a challenge. And if anyone is experiencing any issues while booking interviews, okay, if you can't remember your login, 
Okay, go to courses.parkbench.com and say forgot password or email support at parkbench.com and we will send you your password, okay? So today's mastermind, I'm going to try a different format out where we are all going to book interviews because that's all we got to do, everyone. We need to book more interviews. We need to have more conversations, more conversations, more deals, more interviews, more prospects, more interviews, more leads, more meetings, more money. It's really simple. And so today we're going to book them and I'm gonna do a quick overview right now of how to book an interview. And then I'm gonna put a time frame, all right, from a start time and an end time. And we are all gonna keep this webinar running. We're all gonna jump on our phones. We're gonna jump on email and social media and we're gonna book interviews. I'm even gonna book interviews because I have interviews to book, okay? Um, because I'm out there doing this for, um, the Property Tech Society. So we're all going to do this together. And if anyone has any questions while they're doing it, I can now answer those questions live. If anyone has questions on, hey, this business owner asked me this question, this professional asked me this, hey, you know, what should I write here? What should I, uh, look at this email template. Everyone can start contributing those questions and that information on the chat box and we can all help each other out. Okay, so this is going to be a real mastermind in a different format where we're helping each other get results today because it's great that we sometimes come on here and do a lot of learning, but so every now and then I want to come on these masterminds and I want to just go take some action and go get some work done together. All right, and we help each other do that. Who's on board? All right, say yes. If you're on board with booking interviews today and we're gonna have a challenge, we're gonna have a contest and we're gonna have a prize at the end, it's gonna be the honor system, okay? So we're all, you know, salespeople and business owners, all right, so let's just win, all right? Let's, the, 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 real, the real goal is just to be the best, okay? And to win this competition today. So if you all are in, okay, say yes in the chat box. Donna's in, Janet, Randall, Lori, Suzanne, yes, yes, I'm excited, okay? Everyone listening, Okay, who is in, say yes to book interviews. Now let's go over how to do it. Let's go over the essentials, okay? Yes, you can watch these videos, okay? But I'm gonna give you the basics because we don't need to overcomplicate it, okay? My hair is way better back then, all right? Um, we don't need to overcomplicate it, okay? So the script goes like this. And you can say this script over the phone, in person, over email, social media direct message, which means Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, okay, um, all those places. Heck, you can even do Snapchat if you're on Snapchat. All these different places you can send out direct messages. Facebook and Instagram are the top two, okay? If you want to use social media to book interviews, Facebook and Instagram are the top two platforms to do it on, okay? Email also works it's just not as efficient okay the phone will get the fastest results okay unless the person is online at the moment on email and social media and face to face is the best now we're all not going to be able to do face to face today because we're all on a computer and that's fine um we're going to still book interviews over the phone i recommend Okay, everyone pick up the phone and use this as your primary tool today, okay, to booking interviews. And you send out some email and direct message on social media, maybe as a follow-up. You make a phone call, person doesn't answer, go find them on social media, send them a direct message using the book and interview script, um, and then you move on to the next person, okay? That is the most efficient way to book interviews. You have a list, okay? So if any of you have a lead list, get your lead list ready. Who does not have, okay, in the chat box, who does not have the lead list b interview booking tracker, the template? The template to book interviews. I even can get my computer right now. I'm going to send, okay. If you have a lead list, open up that lead list, okay. If you have an interview booking tracker, open that up. If you have a CRM with names of people and business owners that you want to book interviews with, open that up right now, okay. And I'm going to send the Excel template for the interview booking tracker, okay, as soon as I find it. Okay, here we go. Copy Dropbox link. Okay, if you need it, here it is. Click that link. All right, this is where you can start putting 
names of businesses and people and their phone numbers and Facebook links and emails in an Excel spreadsheet. And then you can record, I called them, I text them face to face, I send them a direct message, I sent them an email. They said yes. I had to call them back. Owner manager was not there. Like these are all things that happen when you book interviews. Okay. The one thing we can't control is that people pick up the phone and that if the owner or manager is not around, it is a holiday. Okay. So you know what? It's going to be tougher today, probably. Okay. But if you have mobile cell phone numbers, okay, direct messaging and email may work better today because people may not be at their workplace, but they're always on their phone. Okay. Um, but try phone first. Okay, then send direct message on Facebook and, or Instagram and an email after if you can find that information. You put all that information into place, use the interview booking tracker, because then you can always find the callbacks, right? You can always look back and say, oh, I got to call this person back. The owner is going to be around tomorrow. That's what the staff member said. Okay, oh, I got to call this person back because um, they were super busy and they couldn't talk right now. Oh, I called them. They didn't pick up. So I'm going to now send a direct message and email and I'm going to maybe try one more time with the call in the future. Okay. Um, use that interview booking tracker, get your lead list out. Here's the script. All right. I'm going to show it on the screen as well. Okay. Cause that's going to help you re remember what I say. Cause I literally say the exact same thing, guys. I, 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 when I do this, I do it the exact same way. I booked to remember there was a mastermind a couple weeks ago. I did 28 interviews in five days. I actually had 40 people say yes after sending 200 emails. Okay, um, I sent that email template out. It is exactly what is on the screen right here. This is the script. Hi, you know, hey, is this blank? You know, if you know the person's name, that's how you might want to start the conversation. If you don't know the person's name, because if you're just calling a local business or a professional and the person says hello, you are just going to say, hi, my name is Pat. Um, and I'm the sponsor and ambassador for this new local website for North Vancouver. And I'm looking for cool business owners to interview and feature on the website. And it's all for free. Do you want to be featured? Okay. It's, it can be that short and that simple. Notice how I did not say, hi, my name is Pat, and I'm a local real estate professional with Royal LePage Real Estate. I don't know if you're with Royal LePage, Pat, right? But I, so, so um, that I do not, okay? Best practices, do not push your profession or brand, okay? Make it simple. Make it short. Notice the pace that I said it. I didn't speak too fast, because I got to have the person understand what I am with. Oh, you're with Royal Page. Awesome. Um, okay. Short, concise. It was all about them. It was all about what I'm doing for the community, and it's all about helping them. That's that's all the pitch is. That's all the message is. Okay. Notice how, hey, my name is Grant, and I'm the sponsor and ambassador for this new local website for area name. And I'm looking for cool, whatever it is I'm calling. I'm looking for cool business owners. I'm looking for cool professionals. I'm looking for cool homeowners. I'm looking for, you right? Everyone likes to be cool. And so I always just say cool. I'm looking for cool painters. I'm looking for cool personal trainers to interview and feature on the website absolutely for free. Do you want to be featured? Upswing. Do you want to be featured? Okay, that denotes a question. Okay, and then you pause and then you shut up and let them talk. Okay, and some people will be shocked. They'll be like, whoa, that was short, concise, sounded really awesome. Sounds like I just want to say yes. And some people will just say yes. Who here has booked interviews and said a script that was that short or around that short? And the person was just like, yes. Okay, let everyone know in the chat box, if you've booked interviews and it was that short, it was that easy, let everyone know. It was that short, it was that easy, people said yes, and then they just said, yeah, it's live, Joseph. They said, yeah, I would love to be featured. Uh, when can you do this? 
And then you open up your phone. You're like, okay, well, I got an opening at 10 a.m. on Monday. Okay, look at this. All right, so anyone who's new to Park Bench, look how easy it is. It really is that easy. Now, okay, who here has had a business owner go, um, uh, what? How is this free? Who are you? What's this website? You want to interview me for what? How does how is this free? You know, like because who here has been sold to? Who here has been sold to by someone that something was free, and then it was not free, or it was a free trial, or it was freemium to a point? Okay, these business owners have been sold to. They're called and emailed and texted and social media direct messaged all the time on LinkedIn and Facebook and Instagram. Okay, and so we have something that's real and free and amazing for them, but they may have their walls up. They may be a little bit jaded. And so we got to appreciate where they come from and we have to understand and can relate. Hey man, I can relate. I have people calling me all the time. I'm a local business owner too. Um, and, and I'm sold to all the time. And uh, people don't, you know, Sometimes things that say they're free is not free, um, but I promise you this is free. And the reason why it's free is because I've actually paid for it. I'm the sponsor of this local website. Um, and so because I've sponsored it, you and all the other local business owners and all the homeowners, they get this amazing free resource for free. And not only am I just the sponsor of it, I'm the ambassador of this website because I live here and I work here. And I want this community to be better and be bigger. And I want more small business owners to succeed because then more money flows back in the local economy. And then the housing prices go up and I live here. And so that's good for me. And, and I know that if more money flows back in the local economy, the real estate industry improves. And I don't know if you know, but like I'm a local realtor here. And so that's good for my career. Um, and I just want to get to know people and help people because I know that if I do that, you know, that's how I built my business. You know, people know me, they like me, they trust me. I've given value to them and, you know, they all of a sudden use me and refer me. And whether you do it or not, I don't really care. I just want to help you out. And I would, if you're interested, I would love to interview you and feature you on the website um, for free. So would you like to be featured? Okay. And so all of you should, when businesses, when you get people who ask you questions, okay, and there's even a module about, okay, um, the advanced, okay, if I go back to the local leader course and I go to the advanced section, okay, there's objection handling, okay, so this is the objections that business owners have, okay. How does this cost? Why does this cost money? Okay. Um, and there's ants. And if you watch my video, you'll see how I respond to these questions. Okay. These are questions that you all should write down. Okay. We're all salespeople to some degree. And the best way to get great at your sales scripts, even though you're selling all this that you're doing is free and of value to people. You should write down what you want to say to these people when they ask you these kinds of questions. So, and, and if you're on the phone, you can have the script right in front of you and you can just say it so that you have a tight, concise, amazing answer. And just be true and be honest. Okay. Um, are there any questions? Because I want to get started and I want to have I want to I, for everyone to start get started booking interviews okay and it's really that simple sometimes when people book interviews you can fluff it up a little bit hey my name is Grant and I'm the sponsor and ambassador for this new local website for Liberty Village and it's all about shopping local and keeping people up to date with what's going on in the community and as the ambassador I'm looking to interview cool local businesses and feature them on the website for free. Would you like to be featured? Okay. So I fluffed it up a little bit. Okay. Because sometimes it, when you, I, I remember when I was in a groove when I used to book interviews and I would just say that 
really short script. Hi, my name is Grant. I'm the sponsor ambassador of this new local website for Liberty Village. I'm looking for cool businesses to interview and feature on the website absolutely for free. Do you want to be featured? Okay, and I would say that, not that fast. I would say that over and over and over again. And I would book it. And one time I said that and I paused at the end and the person was like, hello? And I said, hello. So, is this a robot? And I said, and I laughed. And I said, no, I'm a real person. And I was like, but I, wow. I was like, I guess I've just been in this groove of booking interviews of people in the community that I, I, that I probably sound a little bit robotic. Um, no, I'm not a robot. My name is Grant. I, hello, I'm here. Um, and I, that's just my hello is, do you want to be featured? And then we had a good laugh. Then she booked an interview. Um, and we connected and she, I got to know her a little bit more. She got to know me and my business and, and it all worked out. Um, so sometimes you can fluff it up a little bit because then it, it's a little bit more real and authentic. Okay. Um, Therese, how many interviews do you have to get before you actually start getting people on the site? Okay. Good question. So here is the data that we're seeing for every interview that you do and promote on social media and that person promotes on social media and what as likely happens a lot of the time is your friends and fans and their friends and fans reshare that interview okay like look at look at uh look at what's happening over here oh that's the facebook page okay so look at this. When you and the person shared on social media, we're seeing an average of 100 to 300 people go to the website per interview. Okay? And we've seen 500, 800, 1,000, 1,600, 2,400, 3,000. I think the record is 3,300 or 3,400 people. People went to the website for one interview okay now that realtor has lots of friends and fans okay on social media and that business she interviewed had lots of friends and fans on social media there was i think 800 shares um, of that article lots of likes hundreds of likes and dozens of comments and all these shares um, on social media. And so that's how that happened. On average, 100 to 300, which if you understand anything about social media, like look at all this, 194 likes, comments, shares. Okay. Um, so, Therese, uh, I, will, I will answer that question. Um, that will be a whole other mastermind that I will actually want to do where we all are resharing and re-promoting our interviews because it's not about promoting the interview once. It's about promoting the interviews once a month, okay? Once every three months. You can always re-promote an interview, um, you know, unless you're doing, you know, one a day. Then you'll, you'll probably do eight to 12 a month, okay? And then you'll want to re-promote those the following month so that every single day you're promoting an interview, even though you may only continue to do 8 to 12 a month, you know, or, or 16 or 20. Um, so I want to do a whole other mastermind on promoting interviews. Okay. Now, after you, sh after you I'll just quickly touch on this. After you do an interview, you are going to want to share it. Um, who did I do this for? Let me pull something up. No. Nope. Okay. You should have a checklist of places that you promote the interview on. I want to show this to everybody. Okay. Because I guarantee you, most of you who even promote your interviews don't do this. And if you want to get more results. Okay. So when I did this, I had 30,000 hits. 
um, on my site every single month, not because of me, because of other people promoting it. Um, and it's because I created a promotion checklist of places I went to. Ah, come on, this is the wrong Google sh sheet. Okay, you should promote it on your Facebook, your LinkedIn, your Twitter, your Instagram, every one of your social channels you should promote it on. You should promote it multiple times on those social channels. Then you should research LinkedIn groups, Facebook groups, blogs, okay, where you um, promote, okay, that interview on other places that are related to the content you just did. So if you interview a local professional, there's lots of local professional Facebook groups and LinkedIn groups, okay? Um, Karen, so if you haven't had your onboarding call, make sure you book an onboarding call. Attend the live group training, okay? If you go to help.parkbench.com, okay, you can find uh, the phone numbers. You can also find the live group training schedule. You can also um, find everything on there, okay? What is everyone's recommendation to Karen? How, how is the best way? Everyone give some feedback to Karen, how she can quickly get started. Um, what's the essentials to know? um versus versus um that she can learn along the way and how is everyone's what did everyone think about the live group training whoever's attended live group training what does everyone think about live group training what does everyone think about our phone support um put that in the chat box okay to let karen know um all the different ways that she can engage with us okay let's take a look at an interview promotion checklist okay so here's an interview promotion checklist Okay, let's take a look at it. Excuse my, my internet, it's a little bit slow right now. Okay. Okay, so you're gonna wanna share this. So take a look. So this is what this realtor did, okay? And we helped um, them do it. So if you wanna get help, okay, then um, call in and we can help you build this okay if anyone wants help doing this join a live group training talk ask questions how you how do i build my interview promotion checklist do this on a q a or do this on the interview um sessions or call in and say hey can i have someone um walk me through how to create interview promotion checklist okay and so you can see all these different links okay that the realtor and and our team found that relate to their area so you got next door links you got chambers of commerce links you got facebook twitter you got all these different places okay and so when you do an interview when you have this sheet all you do is you first share it on your pages and then you look at your checklist and you go okay i can share it on this one i can share it on this one I can share it on this, these three. This page is for, for food, so I, I interviewed a school, so I'm not gonna do it that time, but when I interview a restaurant, I'm gonna promote it on that page, right? So you should do some research on Facebook and LinkedIn to find local groups and pages that relate to different themes. So when you interview, there's usually a foodie group and a mom group and a professionals group and a local business owners group and a schools group and um, just a everything group. Um, then you can go online and find other web pages that are local, like Nextdoor or like Reddit, or like um, you can find local Reddit pages, you can find local blogs and other local magazines, and you can put your interviews in the comment sections, or there's all these different places online. You spend the time to do the research once, okay? And then, um, and then you'll end up um, getting a whole bunch of places to promote your interviews on so you can get more people to the website, okay? Because one of the things I wanted to say was when you, when you look at and you share an interview and you get 100 people to one interview and 200 to that one and 500 to that one and 1,000 to that one and only 50 to that one, 75 and then 250, those are people going to the website and in your back end, your control panel, you can see the analytics, okay? We show you the analytics of how many people go to all your blogs. And so you can actually see maybe the difference of your promotional plan and the impact it has on the traffic that goes to the website, okay? Here's something to think about. The click-through rate on Facebook is one to 7%. Okay, you can research this online. It's one to 7% is the average click-through rate on Facebook. So if 
you and people promote the interviews on Facebook and you get 100, 200, let's say you get 100 people for easy math, you get 100 people to the website, okay? If it's a 1% click-through rate, 100 divided by 0 0.01, that's 10,000 brand impressions. Let's say it's 7%, that's 1,400 brand impressions that you got because you and that person shared on social media. This is the reason why I tell people, okay, um, there is the, the, I tell people that the benefits of Park Bench is that you don't have to spend money on brand awareness and brand impressions anymore. Because when you do the interviews, the byproduct of you sharing and other people sharing it is your brand does get out there. Imagine if you if you did 10 interviews, averaged 100 um, people to each one, which is a low average, that would be 100,000 brand impressions. Say you did 100 interviews in a year, that would be a million brand impressions that you get on people's social media feeds, as well as 100 times 100 people who go to the website. Let's say you average 200 because you get good at the promotion. That's 2 million. And at worst, at worst, 285. Like you're talking about hundreds of thousands upon millions of brand impressions that you're going to be getting. So you get brand exposure and brand awareness without having to pay for it because it's a byproduct of doing these interviews. All right. This is the reason why I tell people when you look at, when you look at, oh, okay, Brody needs to go out and pee. Okay. Um, when you look at all the different metrics, okay, of of all the things that you need to achieve in your business, okay, this is this is all a professional needs to do in business, okay. And I and I know I may be preaching to the choir here, but but some for for some new people here, maybe you need to re get uh, reinforce this. Here's everything that you need to do in your business, okay. Here's all these different things that you can the, the typical realtors do. And the reason why I built Park Bench for myself is because it does everything, okay? And so that's why I want to I want more people to do more interviews. That's why we're going to book some right now. So you guys do lots of interviews because I have a belief, a very strong conviction and belief that you don't need to do pretty much anything else in your business. You can just do interviews and promote interviews and follow up with the people in your database and serve your clients and you will get brand awareness. You'll have brand exposure. You'll have brand image. You'll stand out. You'll get social media exposure. You'll have search engine exposure. You'll target people. You'll get leads. You'll get clients. You'll get referrals. You'll make money. You'll profit more because you'll be a relationship referral base. Everything. And you'll be so much smarter because you'll just be constantly out in the community getting to know people. Okay. Um, if you want, if you want um, an info, if you want this spreadsheet, okay. Um, it's just a reminder, okay, just say, yes, I want the spreadsheet. Say, yes, I want the spreadsheet, okay, in the chat box if you want this. It's just a cool little, you know, um, a table I did to show people. It also helps you figure out what other things you want to buy. So if you do want to buy other things, okay, then this will show you what those things can do, okay? 0.5, okay, means that you that you that – Print doesn't necessarily increase profit unless you're really good at it. Okay, one is yes. Okay, so for sure, if I do retargeting or online ads, I will for sure get this. I'll for sure get this. I'll for sure get this. But I only if I'm good and creative, I get this. Only if I'm good at this strategy, I get this. Okay, if you're prospecting, okay, you 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 can you can door knock and cold call, and people will hate you. So, but you can door knock and cold call and be really good at it, and then people will like you and trust you from it. So um, that's what the point fives mean. The ones mean for sure you'll get it, even if you suck at it. Point fives means you'll for sure do it. Okay. And again, the reason why you're all here is because I think you see that Park Bench can kind of do everything for you. All right. Now it's 136. Okay, we're gonna go. Okay. I'm gonna have okay, I'm gonna do I'm gonna do a few prizes, okay? Most interviews by by 12 p.m. Eastern time. Okay. That's in 25 minutes. Most interviews. Okay. We're going to go and book interviews right now. Most interviews. Okay. And every time you get one, say in the chat box. Okay. Every time you get one, say in the chat box, most interviews. Okay. Uh, by 12 PM. Okay. I'm going to give you a gift card. Okay. So you can take um, some people out in your community for coffee dates. Okay. And then if you stay on till 1230, okay. PM. So that would be almost one hour from now. 
and we're just booking interviews the entire time. Book, 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 book. Most interviews booked by that time. If you have time to stay on that late, okay, a winner will be a gift card um, for that. All right. And then I'll just get your mailing address after and I'll send you a gift card to a local, you know, coffee shop. Okay. Um, of your, of your choosing, you just let me know and I'll go buy a gift card and, and you can go pick one up. Okay. Um, for you. All right. So a little fun contest is really, let's, let, let's, let's get in the spirit of just all about winning. It's all about improving. It's all about getting lots of interviews booked. Okay. So right now, start now, most interviews booked. Okay. By 12 Eastern gets a prize and then by 1230 gets a prize go okay and um for everyone who's already ready to go go if you have questions okay about how to book interviews ask them in the chat box right now and i'll help you with it okay every single time you get a interview booked write it in the chat box leave this webinar open okay and pick up your phone um, and go on facebook and email and start sending out some messages and go book some interviews remember the script okay um, let's pull up that script. Where is it? Okay. I'll pull up that script. Okay. Joe, um, where was that comment? Um, Hey, I wish there was someone to help us get started. Joseph, you must not have access to the online training course or the live group training. Okay. So get your login for the online training course. I think you're brand new. So I think maybe this hasn't been emailed to you. We like, you know, every, every new client gets an email series of, of content to get started and they can always call in and email in like we're here whenever you need it. Um, here's a login for the online training. Just email support at parkbench.com to get it. Okay. If you want to see the live group training sessions that you can attend. Okay. Um, live group training. Okay, here's our help center, guys. I hope you guys are using it. It's awesome. Okay. Group training calls. Okay, I'm gonna put this link in the chat box. Okay, bookmark this page. Okay, so this tells you how to access the live group training. What are all the topics about? When are they? Um, so you can find the one that, that you need to attend. I recommend everybody attend every single one once. Okay, and then you can attend the Q and A's when you need it. And everyone, okay, who here attends like accountability session has found value from the accountability sessions. Okay, so we do group training and realtors you should have your own accountability partners your accountability buddies okay donna i'm not really sure where to begin to get interviews all right so here's what i recommend okay step one okay look at your database who in your database would want to be interviewed and featured who in your database would want to be interviewed and featured? Start with people that you know, okay? People that you know, they're way more likely to say yes. I mean, 90% of the time, 95% of the time people say yes, okay? Um, Joseph, is there training today? Because today is a Canadian holiday, I apologize. There is no training today, okay? But, you know, usually every other day. Now, instead, you can attend online training course, okay? Um, Joseph, let me see. Okay. Homes at josephbradley.com. Okay. I'm going to send a message out to the client success team. To get your, um, training to get your, get your online course login. Um, urgent need online course login for joseph bradley okay so my online training course joseph if you just go through it and spend some time today it'll answer all your questions okay live group training is great um, but my online training course also has everything that is in that course plus more um awesome you have your login okay um log into that online course okay courses.parkbench.com Okay. Okay. Go, go, go. Book interviews. Who's going to be the first one? Who's going to be the first one to get an interview booked? All right. Say in the chat box, once you get one booked, all right, let everyone know day, time, who, okay. Honor system. You got to have a day, a time and a who, all right, for an interview booked. 
Donna, I know you said phone, Facebook. Candace got one. Candace, day, time, who? Awesome. Uh, phone, Facebook, can it be anyone not in a company? Yes. Okay, so people interview, you know, friends. They interview past clients. They interview Fizbo's. Fizbo's is an awesome one, guys. Okay, the script for Fizbo's is, hey, my name is Grant, and I'm the sponsor and ambassador of this new local website for Liberty Village. And um, it's all about shopping local and keeping people up to date with what's going on in the community. And I see you're trying to sell your home in the community online. So I would love to get to know you and feature you and your home on the website absolutely for free and see if I can help you sell it. Would you like to be featured? What do you think a FISBO is going to say to that? It is the number one FISBO script in the world. Okay, the the there the key to Fizbo's we all know it. The key to Fizbo's is to get in the door, and build a relationship. That script will get you in the door better than any other script in the world. I promise you. And you're adding value to them, so you build an amazing relationship with them, and you're demonstrating how good you are at showcasing a home, and how great you are at it. And then they go, wow, you're really good at making a home sound and be good. And then what do you do for a living? Well, I actually am a local realtor, and this is going to be great because maybe I can find some buyers for you. you know. And what do you know what's going to happen statistically? 89% of FISBOs end up using an agent. 7% of people sell a home on their own. Only 7. 35% do. 7 actually do. Okay. Um, yes, of course you can, Diane. You're a blogger. Yes, a blogger can create a video and a blog and photos about a property and you can promote it on the local website. They're doing that. The homeowner is online trying to promote their property. You are helping them promote their property. Okay. You don't need an agreement. Okay, Therese, this is our lunch, so it's a little more challenging. All right, what what is some coaching advice for Therese? Figure it out, okay? All right, don't let these obstacles get in the way, okay? Of course it's challenging, so how amazing is it going to feel to know that it doesn't matter what time of day it is, doesn't matter what environment I am in, Okay, maybe you can't get on the phone. Maybe you go send out some Facebook direct messages. Maybe you send out some Instagram direct messages. Okay, don't let anything stop you. Okay, we are here right now to go book interviews. Let's book interviews. Okay, don't let anything get in the way. And you know what? It's loud where you're at maybe because it's lunchtime. It's probably loud with the, where the person you're calling is. It's okay. Okay, um, pick up the phone and dial and smile all right um so yes diane absolutely you can do this um what are some other questions people have um phone facebook can it be anyone not a company yes friends past clients fizbos we have teachers we have principals we have fire we have police we have chamber of commerce we have hoas and residence associations we've got people interviewing um like small business owners. We got people interviewing and forget some typos as I'm typing this out. We got interviewing professionals, home services. We got people interviewing um, musicians, comedians, like your friends may be this, artists, athletes, you know, military, veterans, sharing their stories. Again, like you're just getting to know people and helping them sound awesome and be great and helping people get to know each other. Um, so first, step one, look in your database to see who might want to be interviewed and featured. Give them a call. Send them a text. Send them a voice text. Okay, send them a voice text message. Voice text messages work amazing. Send them, um, you know, uh, 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 emails, all right, if, you, if they're in your database, work your database first. Step number one, work your database. Number two, okay, go to Facebook, okay, someone give me your area, 
Hey, someone give me the area that you're that you do business that you're doing park bench in, and I'm gonna show you another way to search for people to interview who are influential. Okay, you have lots of fans and friends. Okay, let me look at some other questions. Who's got some interviews? All right, come on. When I do this, I get an interview within five, ten minutes every single time. Okay, that's what the benchmark should be. Within five, ten minutes, you should be getting an interview. Okay, through phone or direct messaging or texting. Okay, awesome. Don's going to do the training today. Awesome. Candice. Don Volk, today at 2 o'clock. Today. Great job, Candice. Diane's got one. 9 a.m. Amazing. Lend a box owner. Awesome. Right? Think about the people who use homeowners before they need a realtor. People fix their homes up. Okay. Finance. He hate, he's a... Okay. Think about all the professionals who work with homeowners before they need you. Interview those people because even if they don't become clients, which they might, they are getting asked by people that they work with, who's a good realtor that you know? Because I now need a realtor. Now that I've fixed my kitchen, now that I've done the landscaping, now that I've got my mortgage figured out, now that I've got my finances in order, now that you're my, you know, um, like... Who's a realtor? Okay. If you give value to them, they will refer you business. Really great people to target. Awesome. Janet, just Facebook messages and businesses. Okay. So, Janet, send out more Facebook messages. Send out more texts. Send out more emails. Send, make more phone calls. More, more, more. Don't worry about what happens. Okay. Um, Chase connection, not perfection. Chase connection, not perfection. Just connect. Go, go, go. Okay, who's going to win? Who's going to win the competition and win a gift card to go take people out for coffee and do some interviews with or just follow up with people? All right, I am all about conversations, right? Chase conversations. Conversations close. Conversations convert. Conversations make you money, not leads. Leads don't make you money. Traffic does not make you money. Um, brand awareness does not make you money. All these things are coming. SEO does not make you money. Social media fans and friends don't make you money. Like all these things that companies sell people, you know, that like we offer as a byproduct. Cause like, I get it. It's important. It's worthwhile. It's valuable, but it's not the main thing. All that stuff does not make you money. I mean, you're people only do that. I mean, I only used to only do that stuff cause I would end up getting a meeting and having a conversation. That's what I always wanted. Okay. Um, and I bet you're all, uh, agree. I got one email for the owner callback. Okay. Record that callback doesn't count as one. Okay. Booked. Okay. Day time person. Put that in the chat box. Who's got one. Okay. Donna put four corners. Is that, is that your area, Donna? Four corners. Hey, where is four corners, Donna? Okay, I would go to Four Corners. Okay, Four Corners Restaurant. Whitby? Okay. Okay, so let's say you're Whitby. I would type in Whitby, Ontario. Okay, and then I'm going to go to Pages. Okay, and I'm going to look at who has the fans. Okay, one, see this, this, see this page right here? Okay, I'm going to put this in my interview promotion checklist. I'm going to like this page. If I was you, I'm going to join this page. And when I do interviews, I'm going to promote that on this page because people in Whitby want to know about this. You're going to drive more traffic, more awareness. What's, your, what's this going to say about your brand, that you're doing stuff for the community and interviewing people? Okay, hopefully all this stuff I'm saying is a reminder, guys. This is, shouldn't be, not be new information, um, but it's a reminder. Okay, and I would look down here. Okay, 1.9 thousand, 3.9 thousand. And I would just find the businesses with the most followers and I would just go send them a message. Okay, another one, Mechanicsville. All right, you definitely got to interview some mechanics. All right, Mechanicsville, Virginia. Okay, again, I look at the pages. I look at the groups. Okay, look at people with all the members. I'm going to interview the owners of these groups, the directors of these groups. The, I'm going to find the owners of these businesses. Okay, is this making sense, guys? As one way to find people to interview, and then you just say the script. 
Okay, remember the script? Okay, I'm just going to have this page open. Okay, here's the script again. Okay, who's booked more interviews? Okay, let everyone know. Eight minutes left. Go, go, go. Eight minutes. More direct messages, more phone calls. You want to get results fast? Send direct messages, send texts, send phone calls. Those, that's how people respond quickly. Text, direct message, phone call. Phone call first, then text and direct message after to get a response. And you can say this exact same thing in the pitch, in the text, in the phone, in the email. Therese, I've interviewed a singer, a home stager, a plant company. Awesome. Look, at, I love the variety. You know, isn't it cool? Because, you know, you as a person, if you're into the arts, like Therese, I, I imagine maybe you're into music and theater and arts and culture, okay, and maybe gardening. And obviously, anyone who works with homeowners before, during, and after the sale, you should interview them. For me, I'm into sports and health and fitness. Now, dogs. Okay, and so I'm going to interview people that relate to that stuff because I can relate to them and then it's easier to create a bond. And when it's easier to create a bond, it's more likely that that person is going to want to use you and refer you. Okay, does everyone need to be a person or a business in the city we are an ambassador for? Oh, good question, Diane. Okay, does everyone need to be a person or a business in the city that we are the ambassador for? No. The rule of thumb for who to interview goes as follows. It's really simple. If the person serves your area, you can interview them. So when you look at the borders of areas, right? Like, where's that? Where's that one page? Okay, look. When you look at the borders of areas, okay. Here, here's, okay. Here's areas that are taken in in, in Phoenix and Glendale. Okay, when you look at these borders, okay, so for the client who's here in Deer Valley, okay, Sonia, okay, and they all have different zip codes within that area. Okay, um, if a business was just on the other side of the street, okay, and I own this area, yeah, I'm allowed to interview these people because these people probably serve the people in this area. And say I'm a, I'm a, a painter. Okay, if I'm a painter in Glendale, I probably serve all of Glendale. So if I own this side over here, I can interview Joe Schmo the painter. And that Joe Schmo painter probably also serves this area over here. And he also probably serves this area over here. So whoever gets to that person first, okay, is the best. Okay, and they're the person who gets the relationship. They're the person who adds value to the person. So it's a race, and I want that. I want that between the agents within Park Bench in a, in a city because that gets you guys spurred and excited to go interview more people and faster because you know that your peer, who is not really your enemy, they're kind of your ally because the more success of everybody in the city with Park Bench, the better for everyone, right? If, if businesses are finding out about Park Bench in one area and, and you're over here, then that helps you out. And if you're crushing it, it helps the agents over here out. So at the end of the day, everyone who's in your area, they're more allies, not enemies. Um, because if everyone's doing well, then everyone's doing well and doing better. Um, and so that's why you should be connecting with the agents who are around you because then you can help each other out. Um, and you can hold each other accountable to being great um, at this and in real estate. Um, and that will be good for everybody. Okay. Yeah. All right. So when you look, all local professionals. So here's another source you can go to to book interviews. Okay. If you're in Canada, okay, it's Homestars. Okay. And so all you do is you type in, you know, you look at these categories. Here's another great brainstorming. Now, there's, an, there, there's not a good um, website in the state that has this list of categories. So I recommend everyone take a look at this list of categories. Okay. And you find people that you don't have relationships with within these categories and you go, crap, I don't know. I don't know a home theater system. And if you're doing luxury and you don't know someone who specializes in home theater, then you should because lux ideally those luxury people probably do that. And then I would type in my area. All right. So I'm in North Vancouver. All right. I'm Pat Love. All right. Because I love Pat Love and I'm in North Vancouver. I'm going to go over here and go, all right. Hey, 
look at this, 174 reviews. These guys are popular. These guys work with lots of people. I want to interview the owner of this business. All right, so I'm going to call this. I'm going to go here and click on it, and I'm going to go add this person to my lead list, my interview book and tracker, and I'm going to go call this person, all right? All right, phone, website. I'm going to go find their contact information. Okay, and look, see how they serve this big giant area? Okay, and so that's why if, if, if I was an agent over here, over here, like, and I called the same business, and I said, hey, my name is Grant. I'm the sponsor ambassador of North Vancouver. Do you want to be featured? He'd say yes. And then another realtor says, hey, I'm the sponsor ambassador of Coquitlam. Do you want to be featured? He'd probably say yes to that too. Um, and, and so that's why the agent who gets to him first wins, okay? So in the States, a really good resource is house.com. So any of you who are American, okay, which I know the majority of my clients are, and I love you for it, um, you are using house.com, okay? And so this is where you can see, see look, at, look at the lists right here, view all pros, okay, or view all services. Okay, here's a really cool list. Okay. Two minutes, guys. Who's going to have the most interviews by 12? And then we're going to keep going to 1230. Okay. Who's going to have the most interviews by 12 o'clock? Okay. You got to write it down because I'm going to take some recordings down. Okay. Candace. I know Candace has got one. Okay. Who else has got one? Okay, Diane's got one. I got a ticker. I'm doing ticks. Okay, Diane's got one. Who else has got one? Okay, I'm going to quickly scan this. Booked, confirmed. Another one for Candace. Hello. Okay, look how fast this is, guys. It's so easy to book interviews. Candace has got two. Great job, Candace. Karen, you've interviewed doctors and lawyers. That's what I'm reading that is. Diane, got another one. Come on, guys. Diane, another one. She's got three. Okay. Can more than one ambassador interview the same businesses? Absolutely. Okay, yes. Can more than one person interview businesses? Yes, of course. And what I would do, if you know that another uh, realtor has interviewed that person, um, then I would try to make my interview different. You know, there may be some questions that will be the same because that interview only goes on that agent's park bench website. So if you're on a different park bench website, you're going to want to make sure that people in the community know essentially what a person does, what a person needs, and what they like. Okay, um, because then when people reading that can can give them what they like, can help them with what they need, or can use the, use them for what they do. And if your interview helps get business for that person, or helps make that person's life better by solving their needs and challenges and their goals and their likes, um, and help, then then who are they going to help? Okay, so your interview is always going to want to make sure that, that that stuff is conveyed through the interview. And then on top of that, you're going to want to ask whatever questions that you want so that you can be smarter. Right? One of the really cool hacks about this interview system is that if you're interviewing a local business owner, they have a specialty. They have an expertise in a certain area. You should ask questions that help pull out that expertise because people are going to want to read that or they're going to want to watch that or they're going to want to listen to that, whatever format interview that you do. And you're going to learn that information. You're going to, okay, um, you're going to get that information. And if a homeowner asks you, hey, what are the, what are the new tax laws in the area, and you interviewed a tax specialist and asked that question in the interview, then now you were able to answer that question. If someone says, hey, what, what's, what's going to happen with interest rates, okay, and you interviewed a mortgage broker or a banker, and in your interview, you asked them that question because you know that's what people want to know from them, then you're pulling that information out to create a great interview, and you're becoming smarter as a result of it. All right. It is 12.01, okay? How many interviews do people have booked? Okay, tell me right now in the chat box. What are you at right now? We're going to 12.30. 
Okay, person with most interviews by 12 gets a prize. Person with most interviews by 12.30 gets a prize. Okay, uh, and as well, your business is going to grow. Okay, so who's got the most? Diane's got three. Anyone's beat Diane? Sus Susan's got two. Look at that, guys. Okay, Diane's got three. Keep going. We're going to 12.30. Okay, because the more the better. The more conversations you have, the more money you make. The more relationships you make, the more money you make. More interviews that you do. All of this goes up. The more interviews that you do, all of this goes up. So it starts with booking them. Okay. Who else has got some? Okay. Anyone got any questions so far about how to do this and how to do this well? Okay. Let's go to 1230. Let's book more interviews. Okay. You're in a groove. Let's keep the pedal to the metal. Okay. Diane looks like she won the first prize. Congratulations, Diane. No. Okay. Is Diane going to be consistent and win the second one, or is someone going to overtake her? Okay. Great job, Diane. Everyone say great job, Diane, and then they go beat her. Great job, Diane. I hope someone beats you in the next round to 1230. Okay. Okay, so house.com is a great resource to go to. You just type in your zip code. Okay, so so I'm going to go back to the list of places that some of you guys put in here. Okay. Um, Susan. Winery tours. You must love wine, Susan. I'm going to take a wild guess. You love wine. And that's okay. Look at that. You get to interview a wine person. And I'm going to – here's what, here's another side goal. When I interview food and drink places, try to get free food. They're probably going to do it. They're probably, say, let's do a wine tasting. They're not going to charge you. You're doing an interview for them. You're going to have probably a free wine tasting. Okay? That should be another little, little fun little game is to see if you can get some free stuff out of these interviews. I used to get free food and free drinks all the time. Okay? So if I'm on house.com and I want to get to know, um, you know, um, I want to get my kitchen redone because uh, I know that people do that before they want to sell their home sometimes. Okay? My project zip code. Okay? is nine two five nine two okay no come on what is the purpose of this project come on i just want to find a pro find a pro okay all right general contractors Click on a category I want to get to know. I search within, change this to 10 miles, okay, because I want, I want more local, okay, and I just type my zip code, 92592, search, okay, and then best match, or you know what? I want the most reviewed because these people are busy. They care about their online presence. They want to be interviewed and featured, all right? I'm going to interview this guy and this person and this person and this person. These guys are general contractors. Okay, that's another thing uh, to go to to find people to interview. If you want another list, Yelp is a great platform, okay? Yes, you can actually go into your park bench back end. Okay, you can go on your park bench. Right? Remember, your park bench is a directory. You can use your directory and go on park bench. Now, the one thing that I will unfortunately say we don't have is influencer information, and that's why I use sites like this who have that influencer information. So if I'm Donna in 38897, okay, and I want to just press search, okay, I'm not going to put anything in there. I'm going to leave it blank. Okay, see that, guys? I'm going to leave, and gals, I'm going to leave that blank, okay, and then I'm going to go all filters. Okay, and then I'm going to do highest rated. Okay. All right, here you go. Look at this. Okay, this does not look like America. What, where am I right now? This is, it's, what the heck? 38897. Is that a zip code? Did I get that wrong? Sorry, 33897. I didn't read your above message. 897. Here we go. Look at this. Okay. Highest rated. Most reviewed. 
Okay, I'm probably gonna do most reviewed is my favorite because that means this business is busy. And if they're busy, that means they interact with lots of people, which means they have a little more fans and friends probably. Okay, so I would just go call these people. Like you just gotta go, 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 go. Okay. So everyone, keep going. When you book an interview, say it in the chat box. Who'd you interview? Day, time, who? Okay. Another thing is, is what format is everyone using right now? Candace, Diane, Diane, help everyone now. Give yourself some competitions. Susan, Candace, and Diane, what format are you using to book interviews quickly right now? What format? Is it phone? Is it text? Is it direct message? What is it? Candace, another one, yoga studio. Okay, personal trainers. Guys, you should get to know painters. Okay, here's the best ones. Painters. Most referrals have come from painters, personal trainers, hairstylists, anyone in the aesthetics business. And you want to know why for those health and beauty and businesses because they're talking to their customers a lot and they're getting to know them on a personal level and so then they find out if they're moving and those people want to appear to be an expert themselves for what they do it makes them be better if they can be like oh you're moving i know someone great you got to call diane she's amazing you got to call karen she's amazing okay um all right so yelp is another great resource Chef Shanu, interview. Awesome. Interviewing a local mayor is absolutely. We have people who have interviewed mayors before. Do you, anyone remember in the office right now who's interviewed mayors? Andrew? Do you know of a mayor who's been interviewed that you show? Okay. Yeah, people interview mayors. Absolutely. Think about. Who is most influential in your community? And get after them. Okay, uh, someone's going to send me one right now. Texting and Facebook Messenger. Awesome. Texting. So, right, the people, these people are in your database, I imagine. They are in your database. That's why. If you want to book lots of demos or interviews um, really quickly, get on the text. Right. Remember, I said that in previous in a previous um, mastermind is you want to be on a texting relationship with as many people as possible. Period. That should be a goal for business. Be on a texting relationship as fast as possible. Yeah, fat fingering it. I can relate. Clergyman. Yeah. Okay. Who else? Who else is getting interviews? Maybe there are some people who are hiding in the in the bushes, not telling everyone how many they're booking, and then at the end they're going to come out in the woodworks with a whole bunch of interviews booked. Who? Okay. But don't do that. Let's everyone give everyone motivation. Okay. For every time you book an interview, what day, what time, who, what format did you use? Um, you know, what does that person do for a living? Okay, because I can give people ideas, all right? The better we all are, the better we all are. All right, we're all doing this together. Okay. All right. Let me see if I got that um, email. Did you email me? Uh, I'm just lost. I don't know what to do once I book the interview. If you don't know what to book, do once you book the interview, that's A-OK. -okay, all right, because you can attend, okay, the training, okay? over here <laughs> okay and you go to my online course okay wherever that is where is that
Okay, you go to my online course. Okay, just log in and then go to how to execute. All right, I teach you everything all in here. And literally, you just need to be one step ahead of the person. Okay, so what you got to do next is you got to prepare for it. Okay, and you got to learn how to do it. Okay, this is where you learn how to prepare for it and do it. Okay, this will be about five, you know, 10, 20, 30, you know, half an hour of content right here, you know, max an hour. Okay, and then if you want to look at the advanced stuff, okay, there's some advanced training on how to do it okay there's different pages how to do the interviews how to prepare for it what to bring to it equipment and stuff like that okay how people are filming the interviews great question okay I wish I had my setup right now okay let me show you something Okay, here's how to film it. Where's my channel? Okay. Here you go. Oh, here we go. Okay. I have a tripod with my iPhone and it does the whole thing. Okay, so let me show you here. Why aren't you loading? Come on, come on now. We're all so impatient these days. <laughs> all right. Whose website is awesome? Tell Karen. Put your if you believe your Park Bench website is awesome, um, then put in the chat box. Okay. Um, what your link to your website? If you think your web, your Park Bench website's awesome, put a link to your website in the chat box so Karen can click on it and check it out and learn from you. Okay, Debbie John, book two, awesome. Who else is in the game, guys? Okay, updates. Who's booked interviews? Debbie and John, okay, we got a prize for by 12.30, okay, more, 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 book more interviews. Who's going to have the most done by 12.30, okay, okay, I got to refresh my page, this ain't loading. Who's going to have the most done by 12.30? Wow, I, I, my resources, my computer are just so. I'm trying to show you. Ay, ay, ay. I want to show you, okay, so tripod with my iPhone covers both. And that could be the only thing that you do. Got another. Debbie and John got another. Three. They're catching up. They're catching up. Okay. If you love your website, put it in the, in the chat box so Karen can take a look at it. Okay. If you think your website's awesome, put it in the chat box. Okay. Uh, here are some people I know who have done well. Okay. All right. Um, 
here's my website. Okay, I have another realtor squatting on this, doing absolutely dick all. I know she's probably not even on this webinar. I apologize, you are, Heidi. Actually, I'm not. I'm calling you out. You've done dick all, and I'm pissed off I'm working with you for my area. This is my neighborhood. Don't ruin it. Okay, here's my neighborhood. Okay. Um, where is some other ones? Okay. I know Diane Moss, her business has doubled um, directly and indirectly as a result of Park Bench. Let's see, who else? Ashley, she's done FISBO interviews. She's got lots of clients from this. Okay, you can check out her website. Okay. Parkdale. Okay. One of the things that you'll see that I did really well that I know um, other agents have a hard time doing and I want to do a whole um, session, a mastermind on this one because this is like just the, the best. Um, Candace, you've been, a, you've been to Toronto, Candace? Been to Parkdale? Um, is this right here. Okay. This is, if you want to leverage, if you want to want to truly leverage people in the community to help you grow your brand and get you more brand exposure than you could ever buy on your own because you probably don't have the budget for it, okay? And that's not to be offensive. That is just because I got so much brand exposure from it is I have, I think, 50 local businesses with deals using the website to put up deals and promoting the website and, prom and getting people to go to their profile to get their deal, right? Hey, is Kate gonna give us a free week of dog walking? One of our, one of my, our friends is, is a do owns a dog walking company and she's offering a free week of dog walks. I need dog walks now. So, <laughs> well, that's so awesome, Candace. You gotta come back and come see us. Um, right. So businesses who put up deals, okay. They promote their profiles. I want to do a whole session. I mean, I do it in the online course. I talk about it, but we could do a whole mastermind where we, our goal is to get the businesses in the community to put up deals. So that will be another thing. Okay. Is, is in a period of time, you should be able to call businesses who you interviewed or call businesses who are on your site, especially ones who have Groupon deals. And you should be able to get them to put up deals on the website and get them to say, yes, okay, I'll put up a deal on the website. Here's the deal. You should be able to do that. Um, you know, that one's a little bit harder than booking interviews, but you should be able to get one or two um, every 30 minutes um, as a benchmark. Can we customize our site further? There's lots of ways to customize a website, yes. So one, like if you know of sources of information that we don't seem to be aggregating from, email support and let us know. If you want to add, edit, and delete any of the businesses and schools from the directory, you can do that. If you want to add events to the website, you can do that. If you want to add blogs, you can do that. If you want to change the photo up here, you can do that. Um, if you want to add a a bunch of photos. You can do that. Um, there's so many cool pieces of functionality you can do for this website. Look at this stupid ass realtor. She's not doing anything on her site. All right, Diane, lo and behold, uses the website, puts up information, does blogs, does interviews, and then doubles her business. So frustrating when realtors don't do the work they said they were going to do. Um, okay, all these things you can do, links to all your stuff, all these different things you can add to it. You can change the color. If you want to change the color so it suits your brand, you can also do that, okay? Um, lots of different ways of customizing it. If you have an idea of how you want to customize it, put that in the chat box, okay? If there's a question you have, you want to ask me right now, put that in the chat box. Nine minutes, guys, okay? Don't, don't spend too much time doing anything else except book interviews. Stay focused. Stay focused, stay focused, stay focused, okay? Who's who's got more interviews booked? Okay, we're gonna we're gonna wrap up. Okay, at twelve thirty, 
So go hard. Okay, more calls, more texts, more direct messages. Oh, look at Brody sleeping. I can put the realtor coming with, absolutely. You can put that here, right? So when they're on the real estate section, that's where you want to promote yourself. You want to promote your your clients' listings and your featured listings. You want to have, we, we have a, a search tool, okay? You want to put your IDX on there or you want to use our list hub real estate search. You want to put up, okay, recently sold data. Okay. You want to put up, okay, so Diane put her IDX here, okay, other realtors, okay, if they go to search, they got a real estate search on here, all right, other clients, Okay, let's take a look at another client. Other clients use our real estate search for their site. In my opinion, this one looks better, functions better, is optimized for lead generation. It doesn't have all the listings, that's the downside of it, but that's okay. Like that's not gonna prevent someone from being able to contact you and find something that they're interested in looking at and contacting you about. Okay, and they don't know that there's not all the listings on here compared to the IDX. That is the benefit of IDX, is it has all the listings on it. The downside is it doesn't look so nice compared to, like, look, I can't even get to this stupid chat box. It's because I'm zoomed in too much, which is a problem. Oh, there, there we go. Ready chat. Okay. Um, oh, it's super easy. Okay, look, control panel. Okay, if you want to upload your own listings. Okay, super easy. You go to your control panel. Okay. You head on over to listings. Okay, you go add listing. And you just put the information in. Okay. Put some images and videos. Okay. Description, property info, whatever you want. The more the better. Just put in add. Okay. Basic info. Status. Is it coming soon? Is active, pending, rented, sold, hidden? Which one is it? Super easy to upload information in your control panel. Jenny Perez, brand new realtor, just started real estate in January, 15 interviews, okay, three clients already, okay, who can beat, who can beat that one? Ah, can, interesting, I've never actually even had that question before. Here's how you would do that, okay, add a news article. Great question, Karen. Great question. I've never had that. It was a brand new one. I would say um, attention sellers. I have a buyer for a three-bedroom ranch. Okay. Um, and then you can add information about what you're looking for. And then this news article, okay, will go, will go in the newsletter. So when the newsletter gets sent out every week, okay, and your interviews are on there, events are on there, news is on there, attention, big caps, okay? So when I do this, I would, I would do attention 
because that will then help populate this news article home sellers and people might click on it attention homeowners um, whatever you know you want to put down here and then they will show up here okay it'll also show up you just put a picture of a house that relates to the one that you want this is a great little thing that realtors can do if you actually have a buyer you can upload an image of the house that they're looking for something that looks like that um, and then it will show up on the new section of the website okay so if I go to the new section okay you see the image of the house and attention you can see it posted by you okay all right good question three minutes diane's got another one okay i got four for diane three for debbie and john do we use the same script when sending emails for an interview yes therese great question do we use the same script yes Okay, that same script I, I said, email, the best emails are three sentences or less. The second best emails are five sentences or less. The next best emails are longer than that. So your goal is to be able to say that script and make it three sentences or less. And when you look at that script, okay, um, Right, remember it was, hey, my name is Grant. I'm the sponsor ambassador of this new local website for blank, one sentence. Um, you know, the website's all about shopping local and keeping people up to date with what's going on in the community. Second sentence. As a result, as the ambassador, I'm looking for cool business owners to interview and feature on the website, comma. Would you like to be featured? Three sentences. And I could even get that down to two, saying, hi, my name's Grant, I'm the sponsor ambassador of a local website for, for Liberty Village, one sentence. I'm looking for cool business owners to interview and feature on the website absolutely for free. Do you wanna be featured? Two sentences, okay? So that email can be nice and short and you just want them to say yes. And the great thing about email and Facebook messaging and Instagram messaging is you can do a lot especially when you're low energy and at home and at night and you're just texting, you're playing around on your phone and on your computer and you know, you can't call and you can't door knock anymore and you cast a wide net. Okay. The best way to get interviews quickly is texting and phone calls and face to face. You want speed. Those are the right ways, but you can't do that all the time. Karen got an interview with a CPA. That's awesome. Okay. Okay. I would say, great question, Therese. I, when I pitch this, notice in my script, I never say the word park bench. No one cares about Park Bench, and that's okay. It's the North Fort Myers website. It's the new North Fort Myers website, or the new whatever area name website. All right, 1230, guys, everyone put their numbers in. Okay, let's be fair, let's be honest. How many did you get? How many did you get? Three interviews for Pat, awesome. Okay, what are your takeaways? Everyone, what did you learn from today? What did you get out of today? Okay, Susan, still two. Okay, you're three feet from gold, keep going. Okay, if you got two and then you got a couple blanks, that means you're so close for the third. Therese, one. Okay, what are your takeaways, guys? What are your questions? Are there any questions you have about how to book interviews? I hope you're all seeing that it's really easy and you just need to go do it. And it doesn't take that long. And think about all the conversations maybe you started 
that maybe didn't turn into an interview booked yet, but you've started more conversations with more people. And remember, what, co- what closes? What makes you money? Is it leads or is it conversations? What makes you money? Is it what converts? Is it leads or is it relationships? Absolutely, Pat. Every single day, have an hour of power or 30 minutes to thrive. And I take those lines from the great Tony Robbins because they just sound awesome. Um, Diane's got four. Diane's in the lead. Okay. Who, who's beat Diane? Anyone beat Diane with four? Okay. Candace, what are we using to edit them? iMovie, Filmora, okay, are the basic ones. And you know what? If you go to YouTube, okay, I know it was my YouTube was being really slow today. Check this out. Okay. This is how easy it can be. Okay, everyone, if you want help in, uh, editing inter- videos really easily, watch this. Okay, oh, I need to go to use studio. Okay. People are excited. Absolutely. People love to be interviewed. They love that you're doing this. How do you feel? Everyone write in the chat box. How do you feel? after booking interviews from from what just happened how do you feel what happened describe your experience everyone start describing your experience how easy was it how much fun was it how do you feel that you're now doing this how do you think you made other people feel debbie and john got four we got a tie Okay, let me go to videos. Look how easy it is to start conversations and start relationships and add more value to the relationships you already have. Look how easy it is. Okay, so check out this. Okay, if I wanted to interview, uh, edit this interview. Okay. So you see this camera angle, okay? You see this camera angle? This is an iPhone right here. I just have an 8 Plus just like you, okay? Or I have an X. Uh, I used to have an 8 Plus. Um, See you, Pat. Hey, that's it. You booked some interviews, Pat, and now you got to go and get back to work and go back having a life, all right? If you guys all got to go, thank you so much. How was today? What do you think of today? Before you go, what do you think of today's mastermind? Do you like this format where, you know, we're doing stuff, we're taking action, we're asking questions as we're taking action. I'm providing my own insight and advice on how to do it well. We're having a little fun contest while we're on the mastermind. What does everyone think about this format? And should we do it again for other things like planning and preparing, like um promoting the interviews like social media posting like um you know sorry karen okay so this this image okay this video is the iphone and then i have another tripod where i just focus on the person Okay, and I just have two. I have one tripod with my cam- with my phone, one tripod with another camera. Okay, now take a look at this. Say I want to edit the video. Here's how YouTube, you can edit video on YouTube. Okay, YouTube has really stepped up their game for video as software. Look at this. If you are a one-shot wonder, which hopefully that is what's happening in your interviews, you just put your tripod up, you press play, and then you sit down with the person, and then 
you pause and you wait and you do a, a Instagram story. Say, I'm just about to get started interviewing John from Johnny's Pizza. John, you know, re re real quick, why should people come check you out? All right, I'm excited for you. I'm going to come out with an interview with more in detail about John um, so you can get to know his business and come check out his place. All right, John, you ready? Hey, welcome to another episode of Live, Love, Liberty Village, Toronto. My name is Grant, and I am with the owner of Johnny's Pizza, John uh, Aperol. How you doing? Thanks for being on the show. All right, so talk to me about, let's, let's, let's help people get to know you. Why did you start this business? Like, why pizza? And then you have your questions. You get into it, okay? And then at the end of the interview, you just go up to your camera, you press stop, and then all you have to do is you just need to trim the edges out. And that's it. That's literally, that could be all that you do. You don't even have to do text and, in, and, and overlays and intros and outros because you can do an intro, right? You can, at the end of your interview, say, hey, guys, as always, if you want to get to know the people and the businesses um, in the community, then subscribe to my YouTube, uh, like my Facebook page, at Grant's Facebook page, and subscribe to the local Liberty Village website by going to parkbench.com slash Liberty Village. Create a free account on the right side. Click subscribe, and every week, you will get to see all the interviews so you can get to know the people. You'll see the upcoming events. You'll see the news. You'll see deals, okay? So you can stay up to date with what's going on in the community and get to know the neighborhood and have a better life in the community. My name is Grant. I am your host for the Live, Love, Liberty Village podcast. Um, and if you have any questions about real estate, okay, I'm a local realtor with Royal LePage. Um, so I can help you buy at a great price, sell at a great price. Um, so reach out to me if you want. My email is blank, 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 blank. See you later. Like you can do that. Like you don't have to have an intro and outro. You can just plan out an intro and outro that you do with every interview. So that all you have to do is press record, do it, get it onto YouTube, trim the edges. All you do like that. Okay, split, trim, cut, like, just use these tools right here. I can just go like this, bam. The thing is now cut, and it starts here. Okay, I'm not going to do that, because this is already edited. Discard changes, and you just save it. It's that easy. Okay. <laughs> Debbie and John. All right. So today's winners, Diane, Debbie and John, congratulations. All right. I'm going to send you an email to get your mailing address if we don't already have it on file so I can uh, get you um, a gift card, okay, for a local business, um, for a local coffee shop or something, okay? Um, so I'll send you an email, and I'll ask for your mailing address and and I call some local coffee shops that I can call, and I'll get uh, some gift cards um, to one of them. All right? So you can take more people for coffee, have more conversations, make more money, do more interviews, be a leader in your community, all right, and have more success in your business. All right, everyone else, okay, good job, okay? Look how, look how good everyone did. We had two interviews, three interviews, two, three, two, one. Okay, all in the span of 15, 30 minutes. Okay. Um, all right, and, and at the end of the day, right, there's a little prize, but we all won because we all booked interviews and we all got ourselves out there. We all started more conversations. Okay, and that's the key. Okay, just got a fifth. Woohoo! All right, you're on a roll. If you're on a roll, don't stop. Okay, turn this webinar off and just keep going. If you've got time, keep going. The more interviews you do, the bigger your business will be. Period. End of story. Okay, 
Um, they're tons of fun. Remember, your brand's going to get bigger. Your business will get bigger. You will find more clients to work with. You will get more referrals. You will get to know the community better. You will be a better expert. Um, and you do something positive for other people. And in return, you will make more money. All right. So congratulations again. Okay. If there's any other questions, put that in the chat box. Otherwise, I got to get going. Okay. Um, and you all need to book more interviews and get back to work and have yourself a great family day or President's Day. Oh, what's the holiday again? Washington's Washington's Day, isn't it? chat all right can i send you the coffee shop to connect with yes okay so diane and debbie just email me okay mailing address and give me um you know at least one if not two or three coffee shops because i don't know if the other ones will give you gift cards um, we'll have gift cards for me to buy. Sometimes local coffee shops don't have gift cards to buy. It's weird. Um, but um, send me that information. President's Day. All right. Thanks, Joseph. All right. Welcome to the Park Bench family. How do you feel, my man? I know you're new. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, here we go. Let me find it right now. Okay. Let me see if I can get it right now. Okay. Let me re export this. Download as Excel. Okay. Compare, contrast, marketing breakdown. Here's the link. There it is, Joseph. How often do you do calls like this one? Every Monday or Tuesday, depending on the holiday, if it's a holiday, or like if I actually can't do it. I mean, obviously it's a holiday now and I'm still doing it. So Mondays, 11 a.m. Eastern time. All right, that's when I do the masterminds and then Every day, you can get live group training from my team. Of holidays. Awesome. It's good to hear it, Joseph. Thank you. Thank you. Any other questions, guys and gals? Okay. Oh, did you want maybe an example of, here's an example of a template. Okay. Um, example, interview promotion checklist. Sample, interview, promotion, checklist. Here's another file. So you can get a sense of like other places to interview. I don't know why some are green. My team built this with, my, with someone else. So 
Oh, I don't know why it's green. All right, let me just, I'm just changing the file up. Okay. 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 All right, save that. Close that down. All right, I don't see any other questions. All right, thank you everyone for your time today. I hope today was great. I hope you book lots of interviews today and forever in the future because you know how to do it. Okay, try to do some in person as well as on the phone, as well as through Facebook, as well as through Instagram, as well as through email. Use all the methods to do it. Um, and I will see you next Monday. When will we get an email with these examples? Yes, those are examples. That was that. So there's that. Okay, once again, the, the websites we use for booking interviews. House. Yelp. Um, so I just gave you one. So that, that uh, Excel sheet, I was just one realtor and, and, and the kinds of businesses or kinds of websites that they um, added on their checklist. Okay. Once again, remember to go to facebook.com, search pages. Okay. Okay, I shared all this. Okay. I shared this. Shared this. Okay, that's it. All right, everyone, happy Monday. I'll see you next week.